from the smallest particle to the spiraling galaxies, the subatomic to the multi-universal. A matrix of electromagnetic circuitry connects and energizes manifest creation in one unified body of harmonic resonance. Our blood contains the same divine essence and molecular alchemy as the rivers that run to the sea. Our bones made of the same elemental components as the ancient stone monoliths that silently witness the passing of ages. We are continually exchanging a data flow of source intelligence with the body of Earth and every form of life within her embrace. Every nuance of celestial diffusion within our solar system influences our individual and collective field of consciousness. As circuits of electromagnetic exchange bind us together as one living ocean of psychosensory co-creative space-time coordinates within the unified field. We are the amalgamation of various visible and invisible energy systems that together generates the human hologram. The primary system that supplies this unit with the energetic nature of creative intelligence that births the field is the circuitry system. At this time, this system is to a significant degree non-functioning. The fact that out of three billion base pair chemicals in the human gene code, only 60 million are active, and that we use only one-fifth of our brain capacity, are manifest signs that point to human genetic modification. To truly estimate the present condition of this planet and its race, whether to evaluate the integrity of its governing systems, its proclivity to conflict, disease, and ultimately its mortal program. It is essential to factor into our calculations the genetic manipulation of the human DNA. For it is this, together with our deviant orbit of the sun and the presence of a massive body of magnetic disturbance, within Earth's biospheric field that is creating a fear-based mutant paradigm. Like all else in the universe of electromagnetic information systems, the soul covenant embedded in the human matrix is built upon the vibratory infrastructure of energy pathways that follow geometric patterns. Form is the shape of consciousness. Conscious communion with sacred geometry is an intrinsic component in the reactivation of the divine immortal blueprint and the realization of a true space-time continuum. Sacred geometry is a configurative language of the elemental components of the divine creative force that gives birth to all life. It offers a direct conduit to prime consciousness to source, bypassing the dogmatic perimeters of the intellect to transmit knowledge that exists beyond the reach of religion, philosophy, belief, or disbelief. The primary infrastructure of all existence is light. All is light. All is geometry. As we commune with sacred geometric forms, we interact with their fields of informational influence. Their energetic radiance emits a frequency that communes with the vibratory infrastructure of our original blueprint in search of a like frequency with which to resonate. Through this resonant feedback, the structural integrity of the original human template present in the soul covenant is reinforced. Through the disconnection of circuitry and the modification of human DNA, humanity's connection to the heart of the cosmos is compromised. Humanity is orphaned, disoriented, lost in a deviant temporal zone, searching blindly for a point of spiritual reference in order to know itself and evolve. Adopting preordained dogmatic belief systems 
that profess to define the origins of their existence. In the midst of the many and differing spins on our history and our true identity as humans, we can trust the living truth of nature and the nameless energetic intelligence that defines the benevolent heart of creation. There is one truth, your truth, buried in your dormant DNA. A confluence of cosmic influences rendered this corner of the galaxy a super fertile solar system capable of conceiving innumerable exquisite life forms. Each one a fractal aspect of a holonomic field of symbiotic evolution. Each point of light within the field coded to function as a sensory organ for the development of the integral field. Were we in electromagnetic resonance with this field, we would have by now evolved into a highly advanced race on a blossoming planet. Enjoying a path of evolution measured by our ability to translate light and to give and receive love in all that we do to function as conduits of source consciousness. The present concept of progress is measured in terms of lethal technology. There is a conspicuous escalation of depravity in the systems that govern our lives. The material field is showing signs of acute decay. The corruption is evident in the degeneration of ecological, social, political and economic structures. The trend is towards terminal decline. These are manifest symptoms of a far deeper malignancy. Systemic failure is the core problem. The corruption is in the matrix. To re-establish the integrity of the true matrix is to reactivate the divine immortal human blueprint. built upon the laws of resonant harmonics, creating synergy with the vibratory infrastructure of our dormant DNA. The template is a transcendent model that offers the uninterpreted, uncensored, energetic truth of creation, delivered by the simple reconnection of electromagnetic energy. That truth may open to you, within you. This upgrade of energy revitalizes the endocrine system and renders us able to receive, translate and utilize the geometries of light that we may ready ourselves for the luminous data density offered by the 2012 portal of opportunity. That we may collectively stabilize a new model of existence, a paradigm resonant with the integrity of light The template, the reconnection of the human biocircuitry through alchemical ceremony. The solution is never found at the level of the problem. The template is a holonomic interactive model of transcendence, linking alchemical ceremony, sonic codes, sacred geometry, neurochemistry, and the endocrine system to DNA resurrection and the transformation of the morphogenetic field. Transcending the mutant mortal paradigm and reconnecting humanity and its mother planet to the holistic space-time continuum. The human race, its mother planet and the solar system are in the throes of an evolutionary acceleration as the stars and planets move through the grand crosses and alignments that are bringing the momentum of this age to its grand finale, its punctuated equilibrium. What may be perceived as a crisis is the darkness of the womb that births new life. The rotting fruit falls away to reveal the new seed. The more we can comprehend and appreciate the progressive influences that are guiding this time of transition, the more we can consciously implicate ourselves in and benefit from the phenomenal opportunities that are available during a phase of culmination. 
as we witness the deterioration within the ecological, social, political and economic world structures, we can welcome and celebrate these signs of decay as the milestones of humanity's deliverance from a dualistic paradigm. Embracing our collective responsibility to achieve a level of personal transformation that will impact the human morphogenetic field, as transformation on the level of this matrix is vital to sustainable enlightenment and conscious evolution on a planetary scale. Transcendence of duality is understood as the ultimate goal of the 21st century alchemist. The new synthesis of science and spirituality recognizes matter and spirit to be one energy in different stages of manifestation, altering the way in which we perceive ourselves and our reality. Intrinsic to the theoretical base of this higher physics of creation is the recognition of the holographic nature of all manifestation. Through the embrace of this holonomic awareness, we can acknowledge and appreciate on ever-deepening levels the symbiotic resonance that defines us as individualized aspects of one unified body of divine consciousness. This holistic model has inspired in us an expanded awareness of our physical bodies and has influenced us to explore the concept of regeneration at the fulcrum level, changing the patterns of our behavior, not by attempting to alter their obtuse manifestation, but by affecting the fountainhead from which they emerge. Driven to gain mastery over our inner workings and to discover how we interact with and co-create our reality, instead of searching for the out-of-body experience in order to realize our spiritual identity. We are aware that our physicality is the pinnacle of the manifestation of our divinity. We are unborn, eternal and everlasting. Never was there a time when we did not exist. Never will there come a time when we cease to be. The masterpiece of human design is the sensory organ for planetary ascension, as Earth is the sensory organ for human ascension. The physical vehicles we embody are the instruments through which we will transcend this fear-based reality and create, through the resurrection of our full genetic potential, a new paradigm, a golden age. In the words of Terence McKenna, the mind is more powerful than any particle accelerator more sensitive than any radio receiver or the largest optical telescope, more complete in its grasp of information than any computer. The human body, its voice, its power of locomotion, and its imagination is a more than sufficient means for the exploration of any time or energy level in the universe. Through alternative healing methods, we have become aware of our electromagnetic energy fields and the importance of our neurobiology and biochemistry. Through this, and the discoveries made in the area of genetics, we are becoming aware that our chemistry affects our consciousness. Taking this further, we are now making the connection between the mutant state of our DNA and the present global insanities of war, genocide, and endless human suffering. These atrocities, are not the results of a confluence of degenerative circumstances. Neither are they culturally, economically, or politically engendered. Nor can they be attributed to the truthless charge of the innate corruption of human nature. This fear-based dualistic paradigm and its myriad deviant programs can be traced to the modification of the human blueprint and the resultant visual audible feedback of the reality matrix that mirrors the degraded state of our collective consciousness. Earth's position within the solar system at this time is drawing her into alignment with the galactic core, opening a grand starry avenue of coherent communion with the heart of the cosmos. 
rendering Earth and her inhabitants susceptible to exponentially intensifying density waves. The photonic codes embedded in these activation streams are a superoperable feed of transubstantiated source consciousness, geometrically patterned to stimulate and upgrade our evolutionary symbiotic relationship with light, with each other, our Earth, and every planet within the original design of our solar system. Our ability to access these codes and harmonically recalibrate with these cosmic influences is reliant upon our ability to receive, translate, and utilize light. The modification of our original blueprint has resulted in the disconnection of vital circuitry that has led to the atrophy of our endocrine system, and at this time we are unable to translate the full spectrum of the vital data present in light. Light, as the quintessential form of consciousness made coherent, is the radiant emissary of the supreme organizing principle, luminously embodied by our sun. It is in discovering the co-creative nature of our relationship with the sun and the earth that our quintessential identity is revealed to us. Our sun deciphers and interprets the matrix of source intelligence projected as light from the galactic core. We, as biological units of circuitry, are the sensory organs through which this light is received, decoded, and transmitted into the morphogenetic field of Earth consciousness. The range and integrity of the code we are able to download dictates the paradigm we collectively experience. As stargates in time and space, portals through which divine consciousness flows. The alchemical masterpiece of our human design was created to elucidate the divinity of light. To be the instrument upon which the benevolence of our conception may conduct a symphony of creation, each one of us expressing a sentient fractal harmonic of its consciousness. Our sun generates the photonic matrix of creation, communicating a cascade of radiant matrices reaching out to Earth's embrace for a resonant field in which to conceive matter. This sacred communion between the mother of form and the father of consciousness realizes interference patterns of geometries that nest seamlessly, morphing, birthing ever more dense fields of manifestation, cohering into the crystallization of matter, translating light's subtle impulses as life forms that walk, fly, and swim, clothed in fur, feather, and skin, trees, flowers, and shimmering wings. Earth transforms the awareness of her sun into the living poetry of form and feeling, color and sound. Our sun represents to our psyche the ultimate comprehensive monadic geometry of existence. It is our prime connection to the benevolence of our creation. Its light is the counter-resonant field for our divine immortal blueprint. Enlightenment is not simply a conceptual acquisition. It is a literal ability to become resonant with the evolutionary propensities in the geometries of light. We need no more middlemen, no mediators between ourselves and the benevolence of our creation. No more creeds and doctrines. The truth is in this moment, transmitted from the heart of the cosmos. 
relating through creation and defining its message in a ray of light. On Earth, in this temporal zone, humanity is suffering a deficient morphic resonance with its sun's transmissions due to the disconnection of circuitry and the resultant atrophy of the endocrine system that actively translates and utilizes the creation codes embedded in light. Each sunrise and sunset now counts off the increments of time that defines our journey towards the grave. The sun, rather than the sustainer of life, has become the hourglass of our death. The assimilation and translation of light as information is integral to the process of individual and collective transcendence of this fear-based mortal paradigm. Our ability to assimilate light is reliant upon the integrity of our circuitry and specifically the endocrine system it sustains. Thus, the reconnection of circuitry is fundamental to the transcendence of the life-death rebirth cycle. Source consciousness manifests and sustains all life. The nature of prime consciousness transmitted from the benevolent heart of creation as the male and female tantric potencies of creation energetically manifests as electricity and magnetism. This creation code is downloaded into the human biocomputer via the delivery system of circuitry. Due to the genetic modification of the human DNA and the psychosocial, chemical, and religious manipulation of consciousness, major circuits within this system have been disconnected. The disconnection of human biocircuitry has led to a deficient supply of electromagnetic, life-sustaining energy that has resulted in humanity's limited capacity to activate and express the full spectrum of its divine immortal blueprint. The deprivation of this most elementary life force energy system has reduced humanity to a conflict-driven mortal race, collectively manifesting a fear-based paradigm. The reconnection of individual human biocircuitry will establish a fully sentient, resonant harmonic to be transmitted into the unified field of collective consciousness. Once critical mass has been reached, the transformation of the morphogenetic field will be realized. The full spectrum of creation frequencies broadcast through a multitude of reactivated units of human circuitry will subvert corrupt archetypal references and facilitate the redefinition of God in the human psyche. As form follows frequency, the collective waveform of a newly calibrated human race will break through the confines of this mortal prison and generate a model of existence that reflects the full spectrum of the divine blueprint embedded in the human matrix. The reconnection of biocircuitry will ultimately recalibrate the frequency of the individual and collective human race to the cosmogenic order of its solar system and to its true divine identity as an immortal race able to access any time or energy level in the universe. The template model's prime purpose is the reconnection of human biocircuitry. The following is an alchemically coded ceremonial experience embedded in film as a visual, audible, interactive event. Watching it will result in the reconnection of 12 circuits of life force permanently. Re-embracing your field of awareness into the holistic 
space-time continuum electromagnetically. Functioning upon the laws of resonant harmonics, these codes reconnect the energetic delivery system that downloads a holistic virus of source consciousness. This divine directive enters the human biocomputational field and initiates the collapse of programs that are reliant upon the synthetic mutant matrix, activating a disassociation from the predominant dualistic ideology of prejudice and separation, initiating an altered brain chemistry that informs us that unity is the superlative human state. Keep your eyes open. Allow the coded visuals to imprint your DNA. Allow the integrity of the sonic spoken code to resonate with the receptors in your cerebral cortex. Resound the spoken code within the spaces left for you to speak, to add your voice to the revolution, to evolution. When it has ended, it will begin. Seek a peaceful space, enjoy, integrate, transform, celebrate. As we enter the field of alchemical ceremony, we begin at the beginning, identifying our human quintessence as a fractal aspect of source consciousness. As the great Mahagaya Tantra of creation differentiates from the monad in order to enjoy relationship, prime consciousness becomes inconceivably, simultaneously one and different. Source awareness coalesces into the unborn, eternal, sovereign soul identity that lies at the heart of the human masterpiece. The tantric alchemy of the life impulse enters the biosphere of Earth, blossoming into ever denser fields of matter, crystallizing consciousness into form. Through the portal created by the tantric union of man and woman, as the mother of form rises to meet the father of consciousness, the soul covenant, written in the geometric language of light, is energetically activated. A human light body matrix enters the conceptual world of Earth. In the womb of woman, life begins. In the rich red warm darkness is felt the first element, water. Through the initiation of birth comes the second element, air. As the first breath, the sacred vow between spirit and matter, the bridge to life, is given and taken. The first independent breath activates the individual electromagnetic field of circuitry. Simultaneously, the geometric soul covenant is encoded by the geomagnetic field of the Earth and her solar system, astrologically imprinting the human matrix. The third element of Earth activates the senses. As the Earth circles the Sun, 
waves of time and light inform the biosignaling systems of the human hologram. The divine human propensity as a universal progenitor of life is synergized. The fourth element of fire is fanned by desire. As the orgasmic synergy of the full spectrum of the chakras translates the divinity of light into an ecstatic experience, the physical body is known as the pinnacle of the manifestation of the spiritual identity. The radiance of the fifth element of ether becomes a coherent point of reference. As we enter the water ceremony, feel the potency of your emotional identity. See yourself beyond the years of your conditioning, beyond your addictions, beyond the disappointment, beyond the pain of being human in this dualistic mortal paradigm, beyond fear. As the hawk soars above the level of mundane reality, to see the overview fly with her, circle above your life, above your identity, adopting a broader vision of your earth drama. The higher you go, the smaller it all becomes as you begin to see the essence of others and of yourself, to experience the interconnectedness of all life. As you contemplate your reality through your eyes, the windows of your perception, your world gathers its elemental senses to mirror your awareness. The truth of creation gazes back at you. Feel yourself opening to the fundamental beginnings of healing, forgiveness. Forgiveness is a forward movement. Without it, you will run aground in the stagnant waters of judgment and denial. Forgiveness is you cooperating with the evolution of your soul and the impeccability of creation. Forgiveness is knowing there is nothing to forgive. Before the first breath, before the first heartbeat, is the first choice. Whose egg, I chose. whose egg I chose before I took one breath upon this planet I forgive all that was not love and caused separation and caused separation mother I thank you for the gift of life mother, thank you for the gift of life I let go of my guilt my regret, my regret, and my anger, and my anger. To my father, to my father, whose seed I chose, whose seed I chose, before I took one breath upon this planet, before I took one breath upon this planet, I forgive all that was not love. And caused a separation. And caused a separation. Father, I thank you for the gift of life. Father, I thank you for the gift of life. I let go of my guilt. I let go of my guilt. 
my regret, my regret and, my and my anger. To my sisters, to my sisters whose companionship I chose, before I took one breath upon this planet, I banish all betrayal with love, and step once more into the eternal hoop of sisterhood. Sisters, I thank you for the gift of reflection. I let go of my guilt, I let go of my, guilt. My, regret. my regret, my anger, my anger. and my jealousy. And my jealousy. To, my brothers, to my brothers, whose companionship I chose, before I took one breath upon this planet, I banish all betrayal with love. And forge, once again, and forge once again in the fire of my heart, in the, fire of the, heart the, sword of truth. the sword of truth. Brothers, I thank you for the gift of reflection. Brothers, I, thank you for the gift of reflection. I let go of my guilt, I let go of my, guilt. My, regret. my regret, my anger, my anger. and my jealousy. And my jealousy. As we enter the air ceremony, focus on your third eye. As you do so, become aware of your breath, acknowledging that each breath allows you to experience this reality. Allow each breath to release you from the tension that binds you to control as you let your energy simply flow. As you focus on the pranic geometry Allow the consciousness of its form to vibrate with the resonant receptor in your pineal, taking you deeper and deeper into the ancient memories held within the libraries of your genetic codes as you journey back to the beginning, going beyond the confines of your race, creed, color, and gender as you shed the cultural interpretations that have manifested as your physical form. See yourself in many circles as the thread of your evolution has woven you through many tribes and many lives, spinning you with celestial magic and linking you into the wheel of eternal existence. As you sense your third eye, feel yourself submerge into that realm of your being. This is the pathway to the pineal, your primary light translating biosignaling organ. As the electromagnetic integrity of the pineal circuits are reinstated, the third eye begins to perceive the true matrix beyond the lies of duality. To those beings who down through the ages have with the many tools of manipulation caused fear to enter my consciousness. I extend my forgiveness. I love and accept these and all beings as I love and accept myself. And recognize my connectedness to all creation. It is with the knowledge that I have always had choice. It is with the knowledge that I have always had choice. That all experience adds to the perfection of who I am. That all experience adds to the perfection of who I am. That I am the source generating my experiences. That I am the source my identity goes beyond this physical form. It is with the understanding of this knowledge 
that I let go of my fear. Stepping out of victimhood and into creatorship. I begin to break the tyranny of consensus reality. As we enter the earth ceremony, become aware of your breath. Feel your resonance with the earth. Breathe with her. Become aware of the crystalline matrix of our planet earth. See and sense her brilliant body of light beneath your feet. Every molecule of her matter, a holographic library of earthly genetic information. Solidified consciousness vibrating at a frequency that bridges all dimensions. Every crystal, a fragment of frozen light. Earth's crystalline core stores her consciousness, encoding her matrix. She is naturally attuned to her center, to her sun, to the center of the galaxy, to the source. Begin to have a sense of yourself on the surface of this emerald and blue planet as she spins through the galaxy. All her green and vibrant valleys, all her proud mountains, pulsating with the rhythms of life, flowing through her rivers, dancing on her ocean waves. You are her sons and her daughters. You belong here. This is your home. Choose in this moment to honor and realize my full potential as a field of consciousness conceived between Earth and her Sun, allowing and giving my full conscious permission For my, for my electromagnetic field to resonate with the frequency, to with the frequency of, the of the crystalline core of this planet Earth. Energetically initiating my separation, energetically initiating my separation from, the from the addictive illusions of duality. I bequeath my love and protection to this planet. I my love and to, this planet. to all her living creatures. To all living creatures. Human. Human. Animal. Animal. Plant. Plant. And mineral. As we enter the fire ceremony, sense the fire within you, activated with your breath. Honor each breath as a gift that allows you to take part in this wondrous world of matter. Fire is passion and heat. There is nothing it cannot transmute. It is desire, procreation, sexuality, ambition, creation, resolution and vitality. Fire is power. Out of balance it consumes, in balance it gives life. The reconnection of the fire circuit confronts the life-death rebirth cycle electromagnetically. This circuit enters the perineum and delivers the immortal frequency harmonic of source consciousness that defines the human as a point of light within the holistic space-time continuum, drawing the human field of consciousness into the embrace of the never-ending, never-beginning universal holography of life everlasting. With each sacred breath I take, With each sacred breath I, take I feed the eternal flame within. I synthesize the light and the shadow within me. 
integrating the life rebirth cycle. I transcend death and embrace eternal life. I transcend death and embrace eternal life. I die only to the reality of duality. I die only to the reality of duality. And this I do consciously in every moment. And this I do consciously in every moment. Reborn simultaneously. Reborn simultaneously. In my body of radiant light. Never was there a time when I did not exist. Never was there a time when I did not exist. Never will there come a time when I cease to be. Never will there come a time when I cease to be. I am unborn. I am unborn. Eternal. Eternal. Everlasting. Everlasting. I am not only this. I am not only this. I am the universe. As we enter the ether ceremony, bring your focus to the solar star. Become aware of your breath, breathing deeply and rhythmically, rendering each breath sacred as you acknowledge each breath is a gift, each breath is a bridge to consciousness. As you breathe with the solar star, evoke in your heart and mind Earth's sun, that great golden orb of light that brings the day, filling it with warmth casting its diamond brilliance upon the ocean, drawing across the land Earth's green garment, seducing her matrix to give birth to countless forms of life. Our sun translates the primal matrix of source intelligence and transmits it as coherent light. Its luminosity is the symbiotic code that activates our soul's covenant with light to evolve as conduits of love. We are a solar race, each one of us emissaries of source consciousness, able to translate through the masterpiece of our human design, the galactic directive, encoded into the informational field of our sun. Born of the matrix of light, we are light. That which is behind all light. That which is behind all light. Enter also my heart. Enter also my heart. That I may give. That I may give. Receive. Receive. And be. And be. In love. In love. As I honor and acknowledge the love at the heart of the cosmos. As I honor and acknowledge the love. As the, continuum of life. as the continuum of life, I renounce in the brilliance of its light, I in the of its light. my fear-based dualistic, fear dualistic identity, releasing my dualistic desires. Releasing my dualistic desires. I release my fear-based attachment to all that I love. I release my fear-based attachment to all that I love. To my home. To my home. My possessions. My possessions. My children. My children. My parents. My parents. My partner. My partner. I release my fear-based needs. I release my fear-based needs. With an open heart. For it is through unconditional love that I come to know that there is no separation between myself and all that I love. I am love. As I renounce the indoctrination of original sin, as I renounce the indoctrination of original sin that stabilizes this mortal paradigm, that stabilizes this mortal paradigm, my consciousness releases the program of guilt and shame. My consciousness releases the program of guilt and shame. 
as I embrace my divinity. As I embrace my divinity, I acknowledge my right. I acknowledge my right to partake of the tree of knowledge. To partake of the tree of knowledge and the tree of life. And the tree of life. I reconnect with the resonance. I reconnect with the resonance of my light body matrix. Embracing my original innocence. Embracing my original innocence. As together we close this ceremony, bring your focus to the Tantric Star. As the Mother of Form rises, as the Mother of Form rises, to meet the Father of Consciousness, to meet the Father of Within my, being, within my being, I become the sacred enclosure for the sacred wedding. This union expands this moment through time, uniting the past with the potential of the future and bringing it into the present. I acknowledge and honor my body as the pinnacle of the manifestation of my spiritual identity. This I do for myself and for all humanity. This I do for myself and for all humanity. 